Okay. Hello. <laughs> Home visit time. I am thinking that this time I'm going to try and make this purely vlog style. So I'm not going to have like one main video and then add my little ones to it. I am just going to play them one after the other and see how that feels. It could be that by the time I get to like my third little video, I'll be like, nah, nah, we'll change it back to the usual way. So who knows? I'm actually just uploading my video now. It is always so nice when the video is edited and it's ready to go. But here is what I showed last on that video that I had started this um this red current um pattern and did I yeah I, I did show already what I had done after one day and I said that I was going to that I had I had grabbed a few threads ready and was going to use each one at least a little bit um but not spend the whole evening this because I am so keen to get back to those 21 or now 19 whips that I have to finish so here we go this is where I'm going to finish with this one and put it away so I added some of that color which is the same as here added some more reds I think two kinds of reds and that's about it I really 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 have enjoyed stitching it I like this fabric a lot it's been very nice to work on um, the coverage isn't great everywhere but this one these ones have been done with just one strand everything else with two strands but I feel like the coverage doesn't really matter it, this one because of what the pattern is like because it's sort of very artistic looking one so it it doesn't make as much of a difference and like I said with the one strand I mean that will look um, different already anyway so it would be a bit weird if this one was like total full coverage full well full coverage <laughs> sorry. <laughs> sorry I don't know what's going on with that anyway I am going to put this away now grab my one of my whips get, get working Woo, doo, 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 doo. I have a cup of peach tea just just had to share that and anyway this one is now 7.18% very happy with that. Okay, I'll be back um, soon showing what I'll be working on. Okay, what day is it today? I mean, it is still the same day as when I filmed that last video. So it's Tuesday, 3rd of October, 9.24 in the evening. I think you can see what I'm going to be working on next. Let's zoom out. Yes. It is the hen and chicks and absolutely gorgeous flowers. The pattern I've been struggling with hugely. But gosh, wasn't I proud when I got, um, I managed to make quite a bit of progress here last time. But now I have the Saga app file for this one and I am very, very curious to see what difference that makes with stitching this and what kind of progress I can make. Let me have a look. So that is the app showing what I've got left now. So the whole left side and all these thingies here in the front, like it kept showing that I got these random bits down here. So 
what I'm going to have to do is check these against the paper pattern and see that does it actually have these or are some of these just mistakes in this saga file. So if I click here, you can see everything that I've already stitched. So it's still less than half. What a shame that I've done all those purple and red flowers because they they were such pretty colors. So I've got some yellow ones coming up. There is a side, three more little chicks, plus the hen and all that greenery. Oh boy, and all going to the left. Not my favorite, but I can do it. I reckon if I move to the left here, I could do some of the leaves and then go the cheeks and it's easier to go up. And I don't know, we'll see. We'll see what happens. I am quite keen to get into this. I would so love to finish this. I really want to finish this, but it still has a lot to go. So I think I will certainly need a few sessions. Just need to keep making progress. I keep loving the look of these house stitches here. I love this, this green. So bright and lovely. And then it's very Hmm. And this Riolis kit um, uses, I think they use, this one uses anchor threads. Of course with um, multiple strands at times, but it's not too bad because the fabric, I'm pretty sure it's 14 count. Let's see, can I see that? Yes, it is 14 count and indeed anchor threads. So, while my video is uploading still, it's taking forever, tonight I'm going get, to get started with this one. Wish me luck! Okay, what day is it today? It's Saturday, 7th of, 7th of October. And I have been working on, still working on the chicken one. I've been so tired this week. But I've still made really good progress on that one, but not showing it yet. Because I was thinking I would take out another whip um, to work on kind of at the same time. Because I got my, well, you know that I always have my iPad here when I'm stitching. And I either listen to podcasts or I watch YouTube stuff. That's pretty much it. But if I want to watch Fostube or anything else on YouTube, I can't use um, iPad to look at the pattern, so I can't use Saga then or, or any other way of digital patterns. So I thought that I'll have, you know, one whip out for using the iPad. So when I listen to podcasts. And then another one that is a paper pen, which is there. So I thought I'd take this one out because I am quite keen to work on this more. Uh, this is the Time of Flowers by Posey. It is such a beautiful pen. Um, I already put it on the snap here sorry so I've done this middle part here and this corner I've done the I've done all of these except for the back stitching so yeah that area and that area and I was thinking that I would now go to this left side start doing these leaves down here then stitch this one and then probably go up and go these and probably do this bit last. So I so love, I so love this fabric. It's the same was same one as in this cover picture. It is such beautiful green. It just makes me so happy. Um, it is the 
Permin. Is it Whitechild or Whitchild? Whitechild. Right, so it's a it's a bit stiffer, and well, that works just fine for me. So I know that Paul's going to be busy there at the computer this weekend. So I am going to just keep stitching, stitching, stitching. And I want to get lots done. Honestly, I can't wait to show you guys that that chicken. How it's going. Because I am so happy with it. Having that um, Saga app file has been just absolutely amazing <laughs> it's a it's a it's a game changer for sure for me so I totally get it what people have been on about you know loving pattern keeper and everything because i mean I, I suppose it's probably the same um yeah no anxiety great okay i better get stitching so i'm back again same morning not much late <laughs> i already got the Bit of stitching done, look at me. But that was also very bad. And I bought this. I I could not resist it. It is such a lovely, moody, melancholy um pattern that really spoke to me because well I love melancholy. <laughs> so I managed to buy that. I am so chuffed. Except that mine um, pattern does have this charted as um, October. Like written as October. I so want to start it. Like right now. Oh, it's so nice. Um, this is by a Russian designer. I know she goes by the name Anna Smith. Like S-M-I-T. Even though... This is Amelie. I think she also uses Amelie Design. Let me see. Because I am in the Russian app. That it's like a like a um it's like Russian Facebook VK. So I'll show you some of her designs because they are so beautiful. Gosh, I mean, look at those. They're just incredible. There's another one being being made. Love these roses. Okay. Oh, 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 there we go. Forget me not with the bee. It's so beautiful. Actually, beads. Oh my gosh, I feel like I just want to stitch all of these. Look at that. Okay, turtles are not quite my thing. But this one, oh, I so badly want that. Uh, there's also other designs that she has very similar. I don't know if they're anywhere. Yeah. Gosh, I love these. Oh, the cat is cute. I'm going to show you one that I've been really admiring lately. Oh wow, that is so gorgeous. And roses. Shona, are you watching? These are so for you. That is incredible. Like, can you imagine having that view? Wow. Okay, where is the one? This one. I have been admiring this recently. How amazing is that lace i mean there's a lot of back stitching there like it's back stitching and cross stitches it looks so wonderful and there with a different color background i don't know if i can resist this god it's just unbelievable Ooh, even with the lighter color and the darker color it's like it's like it would look nice on anything Anyway, so you don't have to go, okay, I have this pattern as well waiting to be stitched. 
another amazing one and I so want this one with the berries and that one with the black berries. Gosh, gosh. So anyway, yeah, you don't have to go wandering here in the UK to buy her patterns. She does have um, um, a shop. I, I will put it in the description box, a link to it if you're interested in her designs because they really are just so beautiful. I would love to see them stitched more. Okay, then I need to show you another pattern. Sorry, I'm still tempted. Oh gosh, it's so nice. Okay, so you remember in my last video, I showed a pattern that I UFO'd. And there were actually a few takers for it. Like I didn't, didn't think anybody would, but I, um, it got adopted. And in return, um, she bought me a pattern that I wanted. Oh, where is it? Here it is. Isn't that wonderful? I have been eyeing this one for quite a while. You can see it as well, with different color backgrounds. Even this one, like just about any fabric will, you know, be great. I'm looking forward to going to my fabric box and picking something nice for it. I have no idea yet what color I'll go with. And who was this by? This was, oh, this is from, um, Thousands of pens, which has tons of tons of great pens. A lot of the same ones as in um, my bobbin, so it wouldn't really matter which one you buy this from. So just had to had to share. Be very naughty. <laughs> mm -hmm. Lie. <laughs> Lie. I thought I'd surprise you and get my face here. Can't get you away from watching my video without seeing a smile or two here. And the books. So it's Saturday night. It is 11.21pm. I've been sleeping a lot of the day. Just very tired at the moment. Um... So I'm not, not getting an awful lot done, and which is a bummer. Like, I, I really don't want to sleep during the day anymore. Um, but it is what it is for now, I think. So, anyway, I got up to stitch a bit. And I have been so excited about stitching that chicken. Yeah, it has been, it has been so fun having that saga file and just stitching it without anxiety. I mean, what a difference it makes. God, I'm, I'm so envious now of anyone who doesn't have anxiety and can just stitch away, you know. Um, I'm starting to think that maybe people with the turbo needle, because... There's some people I always say that have the turbo needle, you know. But I think they're the ones who don't feel anxiety when they're stitching. And um and really can can concentrate better than others. So tonight Okay. Get my thoughts together. So my biggest struggle at the moment is that I am so wanting to work on all the whips. Like, I am really struggling with that. I keep wanting to take them all out, work on all of them, and that that is just no good. <laughs> I can't work on all of them at the same time. So I thought that, well, maybe I'll have two. Like I showed you earlier, you know, one for the... I don't want to watch something, so paper, one paper pen, one that where the pattern is on the iPad. But yeah, tonight I came to a point where I thought, I think I'm okay with putting the chicken away for now. Because there always comes a point where it's like, 
you start sort of wondering like oh, I don't feel like stitching that part or or that color or whatnot and it's another one of those signs for me that's time to move on and stitch something else so I'm gonna show you where I got to because I'm really proud of this one look my goodness that is a lot of progress a lot of progress so I've stitched like to fill up some of here you know like all over the chest area really and then everything from here except these flowers but all of these here I've stitched all of that um stitch some of this th these greens here as well then just a few random random bits in there but I am so happy. Wow, that is enormous for me. Absolutely enormous. It, it's like all of a sudden I almost have the whole area um, sort of covered, like going going to all the corners, at least pretty close to. So I think what I just next time need to do is leave the fabric just a little bit that way so that I can get to the last bits this edge still have some extra here for the margin so because like I, I only had like two stitches of this green that were left a stitch because I, I didn't want to move the fabric there oh I'm so happy this will get this will definitely get finished one day <laughs> so 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 happy and this one is now I think at 59% or 59.8 something like that thereabouts and can't wait to bring it out again so I'm gonna put it away pick something else to replace this and we'll see okay <laughs> it's past midnight now and yeah I'm still up I can certainly tell when I'm not quite right when keeps changing the whips and going for things I didn't think I was and oh boy but I decided to take this one back my lovely friend Jackie with Jackie Stitches on Instagram she just finished this um she did it with her own own colors still very similar but um used like whatever she had in her stash and I thought yeah maybe I should take it out and stitch it a bit more as well so i did what we all the stitches love to do on a saturday night and did the froggy <laughs> as you can see frog these areas because um i had to order some more of the what is it called the avocado uh gentle art gentle art um thread so, wait, these are the new ones I got, and that's the one I had before. So, this one was a lot gloomier color compared to these two. And I thought it would be better to frog what I had done with that since it wasn't a, you know, massive area here. And I'm just going to stitch with these two skeins instead. It'll be a bit brighter and whatnot. And if if it looks like I'll start running out, I think two two will be just fine. Then I'll start adding a strand of that or something like that. Oh, I don't know how long I'm gonna be awake tonight. I'm real tired, but also feel like I can't sleep if I go and try. So, and if I get bored. This is what I've been doing. This has been like my boredom thing. Or too much anxiety. Wee. My, my sloth needle mind goes with me. I promise I haven't had anything, any alcohol to drink. <laughs> One just needs to have fun. So this is a, a new needle minder. Isn't he gorgeous? He's so cute. Oh. Need to show you a new pattern from today. Which is that 
one. I've been wanting this one for ages already. Now I finally got it when Amanda put an order in at one, two, three stitch. So she asked if I wanted to order anything and I wanted this one. If I forget to get it again. I didn't know that it actually comes with this um, hard button, which is here just um, used as a decoration for the pillow. So that's a nice little surprise. I think this cat is so beautiful. It'll be really fun to stitch, even if it's just, you know, block colour, but it's not big. So, I just don't know if I'll, the colour is like, because it uses the fancy ones. So, will I get those? Or will I just try and DMC? Because, like, I don't know. Like, these flowers, doesn't really matter, though, the, the colouring. As long as the cat has uh, the pink cheeks and ears, I think that's the main main thing for me. But I do like this one a lot. Oh, another new pattern. I so want new starts. <laughs> I really want a new start. Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> oh. I think I just spent like seven minutes here talking to the camera before I realized that the video, the recording wasn't on. Great! That is just going so well. <laughs> anyway, just looking at my hair, it looks so nasty at the moment, but I ain't showering at this time of night. You just, just ignore it. Because it is 2.40 a.m. on Thursday, the 12th of October. Yep. In the middle of the night. Again. Because yesterday, so Wednesday, I had a really, really anxious day. Like, really high level of anxiety. And I, I don't think I had had that for a while. Other than lately seeing again like really anxious dreams. But it wasn't like specific thoughts that I had that were giving the anxiety or making word. It was very much like a, just a feeling um, I go see a, a psychologist about, um, because of the anxiety and whatnot. And uh, she once said that it's like I've got my my own bunch of meerkats that are working really hard because they're all that that that's exactly how it felt today. That you know, you know that how the meerkats work. That there's one like sitting on top of the dirt pile or whatever and and all the time looking you know where's the threat coming from and the imminent danger and that's exactly how today felt to me like all the time being on high alert that something is going to happen even though you know that there's nothing there's this no, nothing coming up but that's how it felt like something is going to happened very very soon so the day felt so tiring and even though having your bunch of meerkats you know i mean it's, it's it sounds really cute and it does make it easier to deal with it because that's how you see it i mean it's it's because it's such such um perfect way to describe it. Those darn meerkats. How dare they? They work too hard. So, it wasn't the greatest stitching day because um, I couldn't concentrate on stitching. I mean, how can I since it's non-stop like, you know, where is the thread coming from? And even if Paul was at home, you know, I still couldn't calm down. 
He even took me out for gelato. <laughs> Anxiety medicine. But no, even that didn't help. But it was nice to get out of the house though. Um, but yeah, I had um, one of my, my 21 weeps that was getting close to a finish. And it was so hard to work on it. I could, I, I pretty much just had to, like, stitch a bit, then keep quite a break. Then when I felt ready, get back to it again, do the same. So, it took, it took a long time. Um, but I have a finish. <laughs> I've got another finish. I can't believe it. How is it possible that I've finished three of the 21 now? I am absolutely baffled by it. I'm certainly not complaining. So what did I finish? Ta-da! Here it is, Through the Storms by... Silver Creek samplers. Oh, it looks lovely. But that grass was a pain to stitch. So, what also ended up happening with this one was that I kept finding things that were for some reason wrong or whatever, and I had to frog and then restitch. And then I found something else that had to do the same thing again had to fix that because there was a one, one stitch too long between the S and a T and then also the between M and S there was a one extra stitch there so took it all out and restitched it yeah and then the flower wasn't lining up correctly so I had to do the same with that and I showed in the previous little video, well, not maybe not previous, but one of these little videos, the new skeins of avocado thread, and I got that it was a different color. So I ended up frogging the green that I had stitched here, and then ended up doing the whole thing, of course. I had to chart my... Um, like our initials and the wedding date and that's the year we met we well got together oh and then I had already been stitching here the green and realized that I hadn't stitched the duck legs duck legs what do they <laughs> are they legs I don't, I don't know so I had to do that as well, more frogging. But finally, it's finished. So that fabric is the one I love. That Eva by Uberher, 28 count, even weave. So lovely, and it was a great color for this one. The threads are the cold war ones. And I stitched this with um, three strands. So the, the stitches aren't really like super neat or anything. But I must say that I still quite like it like overall. I just wouldn't want to look at the individual <laughs> stitches. But nobody's going to look at them. I mean, when I'm looking at it like on the desk here. It's fine. So, I'm really chuffed. And it was so nice to be able to cross off another name from the list. And I have 18 left. But now I really think there's not going to be a finish for a while because I had a look at those and it's like everything everything there has just so much left like this there's actually quite a few that still have like way over half of left 
to do because I mean I just picked ones that um maybe weren't so massive in size so that they could be finished even though they still have a lot to go and like that grumpy owl that I have I mean I did just that middle bit so I still have well over half of that left but it's also not like massive though so I feel like I, I should get that out set no um right so like I said I'm up here in the middle of the night just couldn't sleep but the good thing is that I'm not feeling anxious anymore so that's great so I was looking at the list, um, not the whips, and thinking about which one I'd like to work on next. Because I will just be doing lots of like just making progress with them. Because um, nothing is going to get finished but in just like one session. So I'm just going to keep working on them as many sessions as it takes. I decided that I'm next going to work on my oldest whip. Do you still remember this one? This is, was it hen and flowers? Flowers and hen. By Stitching Land. I bought this from Etsy forever ago. And, you know, I still, I still like it a lot. It still looks great, these, the start that I've done. But I've just struggled how to stitch it. So here it is. Of course, there's a, some behind there as well. But since I already put it here, can't be bothered taking it off. Um, well, it's not like it's the first time you're hearing this. But the main reason why I haven't worked on this because I had to go left. I don't want to go <laughs> So the right direction? Yes, I did. But when I did the one hour challenge, Amanda made me work on this, so I did the flower. So I have already, where's the needle? Yeah, I was already counting here that this is where a top of a leaf is on this side. So I'm going to start here. So that'll get me sort of nicely this direction. And then it'll be easier to count to stuff underneath here. So... I am going to try and stitch as much as I can on this quarter of the pattern. I've got um, all the colours out before I tried to go to bed, but I just couldn't sleep yet. So I think I'm just going to grab the, well, I'm going to grab these, this lighter green and just start stitching with that. Definitely, how was it with the leaves? Oh yeah, there's two leaves up here and then this one down here. So I might do, do those, but I'm not going to be doing like colour completing in this quarter, I think. I don't, I don't think I can be bothered counting that much. But you never know, because colour completing is it's actually, it's it's really is fun. It's such a good way to make progress and and if you are confident in your counting um makes it so much easier than to work on the other colors and other parts and so god i love this flower it looks so beautiful and as usual the navy so i got navy ada mm -mm -mm -mm. that is gorgeous that is gorgeous right and I have a evening snack here, just, just in case, <laughs> just in case if one gets peckish. I just finished one cold tea, and I still have one more to finish as well. I'm, I'm sorted here. Okay, I didn't, didn't think I would be chatting here this long, but oh, and I'm still waiting for my kids to arrive. Well, I know where they are because I looked at the 
the trekking. They're heading from Sydney to Melbourne. It is taking forever for them to arrive. These kids are coming from Germany. Oh, it's just taking forever. I don't know what's going on with the mail again. Mm. Okay, but you don't really want to hear about it. Oh, Daisy came to see me. Okay, time to go. She wants a belly rub and then she'll let me stitch. So, I'll come back when I have more to show. Bye for now. Okay, I'm back again next day. <laughs> Friday, October 13th. Oh, Friday the 13th today, of course. Uh, 7.35 p.m. I'm baking. I must say, though, I am absolutely expecting a failure this time. But I I wanted to make sure that I gave it a, the best go that I could with the good mindset, good attitude, you know, really trying. But it is a sponge cake, which feels very scary to me. Like, how can anybody make it like a good one? So it's in the oven right now. So I thought that instead of just staring at the oven there or worrying about it that I'll film a bit because I had a really good mail day today also I did buy another pattern I don't think I showed this to you yet but on my bobbin uh, um, patterns by Vetlanka were discounted and I had one of them on my wish list so so of course I got it I mean really yeah so it is this one let's see Bird. Isn't it gorgeous? And like that is the mock up, but in the next page you see it. Oh, of course you don't. That's the stitched one. How good does that look? I feel like the stitched one looks better than the mock up. So I had to get that. Had to get it. But yeah, long um, awaited package arrived today. Actually, I got two packages, but this was one that I had ordered. I ordered from Cross Stitch Corner, which is a shop in Germany. On my shop in Germany, they sell a lot of Russian kits, plus plus other kits as well, and patterns and whatnot. Um, only downside is that the shipping is a bit expensive. So I you have to order order a few things. <laughs> I ordered four kits. I can only show two since the other two are gifts. So, Also, they sent uh, this little freebie with the, with the order. So Ada stitching like flower shape. Sort of thinking what this would be good for. And I think, I think this would be really nice for a card. Maybe a birthday card or new baby or something like that because those images are doing small enough or or doing a fancy initial something like that so that's exciting okay so the first kit is one that when i saw it i really really wanted it and i went looking around looking around looking around couldn't find it anywhere so i kind of thought that well Unfortunately, I was a bit a bit late to the game because the Russian ones, you know, once they are, you just can't get them. They're not like dimensions that you can still find some from like decades ago. Um, but yeah, it turned out it was actually a new kit instead of an old one. That's why it wasn't widely available yet. So it is by Oven and called Sea Breeze. What? There it is. I think that is beautiful. And, and of course, there's birds. They makes it that much better. Well, it's like they really add to it. But I think this is so lovely. The sky is pretty, the sea is pretty, and yeah, I like the I like the grass in the front. 
It'll be a really nice one to uh, stitch. Came with um, Ada. Oh dear, it's been against it. White Ada. Let's have a look. So it's 20 by 20 centimeters. So and 16 count white Ada. And the because I opened the kit because I want to show the um, threads. The the Ada actually feels uh, fairly soft, which is nice. Surprised me. There's 23 colors. And a needle, some, oh yeah, yeah, it's on the, on the fabric. So here are the colors of the threads. Those are so pretty. And gosh, I love it that they've already been tied to the thing. I hate it when I get a kit where they're not tied and just loose and all. Oh my goodness, I hate doing those. But these are lovely. Turn it the other way around so you can see the bottom ones. Oh, okay, that, that didn't really help. <laughs> there we go, so the browns are on this side. Oh, I like this. I like this green. And um, oven threads, in some of the kits that I've gotten, they, they look very matte. They, there's like no shine to them. They've been like the, um, I think they're Kirov, uh, Russian threads so but i mean i've seen people stitch with those as fine so i'm sure they'll be okay but they now use um look at s ones so i am really keen to try these these are nice and shiny look look just like thread should look <laughs> dmc should look and whatnot so but they are yeah made by look s and which of course are in every look at s kit now that they make and I thought that I'd also show you a little bit of the pattern because this, this is very clear well, maybe it's better to show that one because that one doesn't have much of it so yeah so it's colored nice and big very very easy to read and this is often with the Russian kids, if you get it and are a bit lost. So under the colors, it shows what you are going to stitch with it and with how many strands. So that's a cross stitch with two strands and then half stitches with two, two strands, I think that's it. Yeah, this one doesn't have anything else. And then there's blends, nine blends. And that must be back stitching. Oh, here it says in the back, back stitching three threads, one thread. So, yeah, so even if you get um, a Russian kit that wouldn't have any English, they usually do. But um, that's pretty much how, how they show the what you need to stitch. But yeah, I think that looks great. Very excited to start that one, but when am I going to start it? <laughs> I'm still trying to finish. Okay, the next kid. I don't. I, <laughs> I think I'm the only one who has liked this so far when showing it to others. But it's it's it feels like it's so me. And the funny thing is that when I showed it to Paul that I'm thinking of ordering this one, he was like, yes, you know, definitely ordered that one. That it's it's just so awesome. So it's another kit by Oven. I suppose they came up with new ones at the time when I ordered some. And it's called Pot with Sour Cream. And it also has 16 count fabric, which is a brown one. I'll show it. And 26 colors. <laughs> oh, it makes me laugh. Oh my god. And just remember that I don't stitch people a lot. This, this, is, a, this is a person. Are you ready to see? <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, that face. That face. I can't take it. I, just, I I so love it. I could not say no to this one. Oh, I don't know why she's so upset with the, with 
<laughs> sour cream. <laughs> This will be amazing to stitch because it, it'll make me laugh the whole time and smile. And I, I love this background, the little clouds. I love this background. And I love this edge, like torn paper. Oh, it'll be so fantastic to stitch. I am so thrilled with this purchase. So, so this one comes with... Um, um, brown fabric does it looks a bit lighter here in the slide and a needle and this one is 18 by 26 um this one is also you know a colorful pattern just on one page the whole thing Gosh, it looks like those, uh, with, the, with the colours, it looks like those Chinese stamped um, canvases. Has <laughs> weird greens here and everything. And this one as well has the same things I showed on the other one. You know, the how many threads. This one has also one strand half stitching. Oh. And with half stitches, I think the Russian ones usually show which direction you should go, whether it's that way or that way and I always also check the cover picture which direction it's going there and yes it does match the direction on the pattern so then the colors gosh these these look as threads feel so soft wow they feel really good so here's some of that love these teals and uh, I guess these are some of them in the background lovely so so I'm darker reds to peachy and oh, my favorite the beige and white and then on this side yeah those teals and blues and browns and grays oh guess who wants to start it now Okay. I think I need to go check that cake and I'm scared. I hope it'll be all right. But if it's not, maybe I'll learn something from how it turns out. Then we'll try and make it next time. Maybe I can then master it. But I did try my best. I tried my best. It's out of my hands now. I'll be back. Okay. Okay. Wasn't quite ready yet. We've got five minutes. So, my lovely friend, Sherry from Texas, or Hecate's Needle here on YouTube. She sent me a package. I'm so thrilled. She sent me the keepsake, keepsake calendar for next year, which I am thrilled about as... When I was looking at the um, the designs here, there were like, I think there were seven or eight that I would happily stitch. I don't know, let's see. Probably easier to show this way. So there's a Christmas tree. This one I love. Oh, this is beautiful. That is so beautiful. This one, Definitely a stitch. Absolutely. Emma Congdon one. There's a French patisserie. Oh, how can anyone not stitch this one? It is amazing. That's by uh, Susan Bates. Some birds. I love the colors of that one. This one, probably not one for me to stitch, but. This one, the cover one, love it. Love the color of the fabric. I definitely want want that color. Like I don't have any other options. I mean, really, I should go with something I have. Very intricate um, butterflies. Not really one for me. Paul, I really like this one, but I don't know. I can't see myself stitching this one. 
here's another one that I would consider. It's a Barbarana one. I mean, I'm not much of a Halloween sort of person, but it still looks pretty groovy. Doreen Jones. I love the stitching bunny and the knitting squirrel. Whoop. This one is lovely. I like this one a lot. I think the stitching mummy should stitch one. This one looks just like something she would stitch. Hi, Sarah. <laughs> So those are the ones, and it comes with um, a separate, um, almost like a magazine, which has all the patterns from it. And there was also a pocket calendar, so I'm totally thrilled because I really wanted um, a calendar that I can keep a hand here, where I can just keep writing what I've done during the week so like when I do videos it's much easier than to remember so love this it's a pretty cute um, pattern as well that comes in this one and then if you've watched Sherry's videos you've seen this one already because it's amazing she made a project pack for me a lovely small one which is absolutely perfect for my my little ones <laughs> here it is isn't that beautiful? God, I love both fabrics and they go together so nicely. I love this little tag here, the end of the zipper and, and it even has a, um, what, what is it called? I can't even think of it. Sometimes I get lost with words. And the other side has that, God, that fabric is so beautiful. I love this so much. It's so much. I cannot wait to put a put a um a whip in there. Lovely, lovely. Oh, it's so lovely. And um, a little while ago, I saw that she had been making some um um needle minders, and I said I need one of those. So she made me one, a Hello Kitty one. It's so cute, and I love it that on the back there's a lovely little pink button as well. This will definitely be put in good use. So, not a bad day at all for me. <laughs> Paul had a good meal day as well, so we are both happy. He got some coffee, so that'll be that make him happy for the weekend. Time to check the baking again. Here it is! A sponge cake. Does it look like a sponge cake? I think it does. Of course on camera it doesn't look as nicely browned as it actually is. It looks really good. So I'm going to turn it around and leave it cooling and then make the topping and yeah, show it, show it to you then again. Okay, <laughs> back again. Well, you already got to see the sponge cake out of the oven. So it is, it is definitely not very thick, but I don't think it necessarily has to be. I don't, I don't, well, it is a tray bake. So they're usually just nice slices and you'll get the, some, you'll get the topping. Uh, the topping has mascarpone, sour cream, vanilla, and I think sugar and um, then topping it with sliced strawberries. I think it's going to be lovely. I am doing just half of the topping because Paul is not that keen on like dairy toppings and he's the one who always eats most of the cake so I'm going to be nice. If it was for me I could happily double the topping, <laughs> eat more, <laughs> most of, more of the topping than the actual cake. So, what I actually wanted to say about the little bag, so it would be perfect because I just wanted to tell you about what I'm planning for December. I wasn't doing floss tube yet last December, but I have talked about it, especially in the first, probably the first few episodes and when I showed my finishes so far and 
sort of thing that last December I went a little bit crazy and I did like 20 new starts. Um, I hadn't, hadn't planned how many I would do. I just got a bunch of them next to me. The ones I had already, um, I had already like matched with fabrics, like patterns with fabrics. I didn't start any kits, I think. Yeah, it was just uh, pens because I had them, I felt like I had them everywhere, you know, just waiting and waiting and waiting. I always started something else first. So I ended up starting 20. There were quite a few of Samantha Purdy ones, which I, I think, finished all of them in January. And all the smallish ones I finished. I did start a couple of bigger ones that haven't really gotten a lot of love. Oh, the Grumpy Owl I started as well. And that's now on my 21 list to finish. Even though I mean, I've only done the middle bit. But, but still, when considering all the others, it can be finished. <laughs> anyway. I think that this December I want to do something similar. No, 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 no need to, no need to panic. I'm still heading down to 50 with my whips. So what I want to do is start just smaller ones. So definitely more Samantha Purdy designs. Oh. So I think some from this one. I have actually been thinking about whether I would want to like stitch some of these on one fabric or not. Maybe have like three, three and three and get them framed so that you have the mat that goes between them as well. I think that would be really, really nice. But I don't know it. At the moment, it feels quite stressful, so I would have to consider that. So there will be like nine new starts already. But yeah, small ones like that. I'll have a look at what I bought from Etsy or my bobbin or other patterns I already have. You know, whether they were elsewhere or whatnot, could be ornaments or anything smaller that won't be something that will then stay in the whip pile like forever so um, stuff that i can finish and still keep going down towards 50 with the whip pile so i thought i'd share that already now so just in case if you are into it and want to take part you are more than welcome um Narelle did the new starts with me last december but she did it differently she started um some kits did she start one a week or did she start? I don't, I can't remember how she did it. But it was so nice and she said that she'll do it again with me now. So, oh, and go watch Simply Narelle, um, her latest floss tube video, because um, she was showing her Whipco boards for next year. She's doing three. Two of them have all her whips and one is just full of new starts. So oh, I can't I can't wait to see her um, stitching those and of course it's always lovely to see stitchy plans. So that was really exciting. Um, yeah, I don't really have anything more to tell you about my December plan yet because I I haven't looked anything yet. Or what I have. So I don't know yet probably what I'll be stitching or how many I'll start. I'm not gonna set like a a goal that it has to be this many because it's just going to be for fun if i end up starting three you know wonderful five great you know whatever it ends up being last year it was just 20 because i had i had really good time i think last december was such a break from anxiety and feeling sad and i was also trying to stay awake you know not sleep during the day so it was just it was perfect so, but in in the videos between now and December, I'm sure I'll be showing some that I'll pick pick for it. I wonder if my new Bluebird 
would be one for it as well because it is not that big. Hmm. Think about it. So here it is already with with the toppings. So the toppings, like I said, has mascarpone, sour cream, vanilla, and a bit of icing sugar, and then just randomly chopped tomato, tomato, strawberry, strawberry pieces on top. Oh, the topping tastes great. Um, I've got a bit of a bellyache this morning, so I'm not sure I can try it yet, but God, I'm so happy with how it looks and it smells so good. Hello. Me again. <laughs> oh, just come home from today's stitchy meetup, which was nice as it always is. Always nice to see, see everyone and have a little look at what they're stitching and try and get them to buy some pan, more pants <laughs> and all that and and um the 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 the, the meetup girls most of them are not really into any kind of planning or you know whatnot so i always i always keep asking though what's your plan for next year but then again i mean i'm not sure about my plan for next year other than to keep working on the webs anyway we can talk about it some other time um really want to get this video out today so thought i'd just like show what i got done with the webs that are out and i've showed uh, early on this video and this morning i I uh, filmed a bit of the gardening so I'll put that one after this last bit so these flowers and hen I took it off the Q-snap because I needed it for with me at the meetup as well let's go here we go yep so I've done pretty much Oh, from here that way except the flower that was already done but you know some progress anyway I am definitely keeping this one out because I do want to stitch finish stitching that whole corner looks great always nice on the on the navy then I had the what is it called time of spring So I did the two leaves that I was going to. Yes, was that really meant to be that long? That looks enormously long. Let me have a look. It is a long one. Okay. Fair enough. I'm going to check that though. That, that's almost too long. But that one. But yeah, that one is above this one. So I guess it is right then. Yeah, so I started stitching that. Just a keep it comes um with the counting. But I would definitely like to do this whole leaf before putting this one away. Let's have a look. Um I never stitch very much at the meetups because for me it's more of a chatty time to be social because I'm not social at all really outside of that. I figured, you know, let's take one of the block stitchy ones. I thought, yeah, maybe I can chat and stitch that, but honestly, it was just putting me to sleep. So I had this cat, so I did some of the what I did this bit, that bit, and <laughs> that's it. <laughs> I just like um, picking, like stitching, sort of random parts of it so that then all of a sudden it'll come together and it's not just so boring like stitching you know long strips yeah so like next I might stitch that part or whatever and Jackie gave me a needle winder <laughs> I like that so much so cute and there's of course my my swimming sloth that's nice so at least a little bit and it got out of its um 
project bag. And just in case, if you haven't seen that project before, that's how it's going to look at the end. So I've done, I've done this flower and a little bit down here. And then what you could see of the cat. Oh. Oh, I'm just so tired now. Always when I come back from the stitchy meetup, I feel like I just need to fall asleep. But I am going to stay awake because I want my sleep better again. Since it slipped too. Bit funny. Okay, so I'm going to finish here for now. Because I didn't buy anything new. <laughs> and yeah, you can have a quick look at what's happening in the garden and um I'll see you again soon. Bye for now. Right, it's Saturday morning. Leaving for the city meetup in a couple of hours. I thought that I would film in the backyard and just if anything has changed. It's been really rainy this week. So Oh, that one just has the flowers. I am very excited about the carnations because I think these here are going to turn into flowers and I cannot wait. Um, sweet peas are looking so good. I love coming, coming out here and having a look and a sniff. <laughs> so pretty. Um, orange tree, the flowers are now falling off, but there's plenty of the little, little starts of oranges here. But um, last year at this time, many of those end up falling off because of the weird weather. So we'll see, see what happens, but there's certainly lots of possibilities. Some flowers down there as well. They are the same ones as here. I mean, these are already done, but they still have a color, you know? Zucchini has its first well, leaf, true leaf, true leaf, I think it's called. That is very exciting. And the other one, oh, that makes me happy. <laughs> then tomatoes are growing very nicely there. I will need to take the extra ones out at some point. But the lemonade tree, um, the old leaves have been falling off, which I think is good because it has really nice looking leaves now. And so many buds and they're getting bigger. I can't wait for these to open. I don't know, lemonade trees just, it just makes me so excited. Peach, well, I said we're not going to get any peaches this year and I am still right. Mandarin tree, see lots of flowers. So we'll see what happens with that. Uh, raspberry, yeah, the its <laughs> top looks looks like it's suffered a little bit, but um, would love to get a few raspberries. And let's go down here, and the lemon tree, which has tons of buds. Like I can't believe it. I mean, look at the amount of buds here. That is just craziness even all the way down here that is amazing then we have some still have some more sweet peas that are gorgeous and here the the really red ones oh they're so pretty love these okay that's it for the garden